A split level home is where rooms in one part are approximately midway between the levels of two successive stories. In this video, we're going to discuss how to model a split level home in Envisioneer. The same methods could be used for a side split, raised bungalow, or any other home style that has multiple levels in a single floor location. A good rule of thumb to use when creating the model and considering your building locations is what do you want to see on a single floor plan. Whatever will be seen on the printed floor plan should be housed on the same location. Looking at our sample model, we can see that the garage and entryway are on a lower level than the right side of the house. Looking through the windows, we can see the stairs going down to a basement and a railing around a stair going up to the main level. When the model is in plan view, you can see that the garage, even though it is four feet lower, remains on the same floor plan. I want to include them in the same plan view so they're drawn on the same location. So how did we make this model and have some objects lower than others but still on the same floor plan? We drew the model all as one floor plan, inserting everything on the ground floor just as if it were a bungalow, but then we used the elevate option. Any element can be elevated in height, up or down, from its original insertion height. So it can still be situated on the ground floor, but in 3D sit 4 feet lower or, if required, 2 feet higher as examples. In our case model, I'll take a 3D view of the entranceway. You can see in this view the elevation difference. I'm going to select one of the walls in the entranceway. I'll right click to reveal all the options I have for this selected wall and in the right click menu you'll see elevate. If I select elevate you'll notice that the wall has been elevated negative four feet. So it is on the ground floor location but sitting four feet lower than walls on that location making it perfect for our entranceway. If I now select on the floor, right click and look at its elevation, you'll see that two has been lowered to negative four feet. Let's look again in 3D from the exterior. From the 3D view, you can see I used three levels. The foundation level where the concrete walls reside, a framed wall location that has the stone wall and the ground floor location that is the sided wall. The stone wall is on a different location only because I wanted to frame it separately from the ground floor as a pony wall and make it a different finish material. If I wanted to balloon frame the wall, I would have made a taller ground floor wall to sit directly on the foundation or I could have alternatively made the foundation wall in this area taller. But if I take this to a 3D view, you can see it is framed separately as a pony wall matching my on-site construction methods. So key things to remember when doing a split level. Keep everything on the same location that you want to appear on the same floor plan view. If they're raised or lower than the main floor level of that location, take advantage of the elevate option to move them up or down appropriately. If you want them framed separately, them on a separate location. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again.